Alright, so today we are day 238, I think. Something like that. So I had a really chill day. I'm just like heating up my food now. The curry I made yesterday, I'm heating that up. Very chill day, which was like kind of what I needed. Um, this month has been absolutely like insanely busy, but like in a good way. Like I'm very grateful for everything and everything that's come up. But definitely on those days where I don't have a whole lot to do, all I want to do is sleep. And so uh, listening to my body and catching up on some rest and yeah and that was nice so i definitely took two naps today which was amazing and now i'm just like making food before i head to my next client session for tonight um and yeah and there's been some realizations like um with my own healing as well so like even though like yes i have this like money program and i'm doing all this like you know, things for my business doesn't mean that my work doesn't stop. And so I knew I had been feeling it for quite some time that I needed to go check in on my inner child. So I did an inner child meditation yesterday. And it was really interesting because like a lot, like not like a whole lot, but something popped up and I was like, oh my God, like this is like so minor, but it makes so much sense. And it was this memory from like back when I was eight years old um and i had a crush on like this boy in my school and he like i mean i don't know if he knew or didn't know i didn't say anything i was very much the quiet one in elementary school and very much kept to myself especially like having a hearing loss i just like kind of really just kept into my own space and had like my just my selected few friends and that was it and you know i've always wanted to be seen and you know, like, kind of seen, you know, from, like, this crush I have, and I never really was, right? Like, I also kept it to myself, so I was eight years old, not like I went and I told the world, but what I realized is that now what happens is, is that from that, it's, like, such a small little wound, but from that moment of having a crush on someone at such a young age and thinking that they don't like you back or they're not paying attention to you, my inner child was, like, Every time someone does like me or has liked me, I'm like, I get way too excited. And I, like, it's not like I always, like, kind of, like, show it, like, in, like, kind of, like, actions. But it's more that in, like, in my own mental headspace, I get so excited and I start, like, imagining everything and anything under the moon like my mind just like takes over to like here's where we are 10 years down the road and I just went on like one date with this guy you know so it's really interesting that like my inner child is like that and so this was something that I needed to learn to let go of and know that understand where it comes from you know from not feeling seen from like that first crush when I was young and then you know all these years later like having you know people interested in me and and like having you know crushes who liked me back this is a very vulnerable show you guys um <laughs> like already like kind of a little flush so yeah so it's just like knowing that that's where it comes from and now I'm beginning that healing process so that you know it's okay if I meet someone and you know that they don't I have a crush on them or they don't like me back or that they do have a crush on me and it doesn't go anywhere like that having or if it does go somewhere great like having that zero expectation and letting go of all expectations of like where it would lead what would happen and so that is like something that I'm definitely like kind of realize and working on. So I wanted to share that, that I'm still doing the inner work and that I'm just going to hold on just before I burn my curry. Oh my God. It's like almost sticking to the pan here. Um, and so, and kind of going back to it, love and money are interconnected, right? So this is just like another layer of you know, like wanting to be seen and wanting to be like heard, but also like letting go of all expectations. And so 
it, when it comes to money, you know, letting go of that expectation of how money is going to come to me, letting go of the expectation of like when money is going to come to me, letting go of the expectation of money in itself and like the outcomes and how it makes its way to me. And so there is all these interconnected pieces and it's all interconnected. And that's what's really cool about doing the inner work. It's like, it's not just like, oh, I'm doing the inner work for love, for money. It's I'm doing it for me and for my healing and my growth and my evolution. And it's rippling up to other areas of my life, which is very cool. So that was today's share. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and speak to y'all tomorrow.